Now I'm going to make a mask, copper mask, and I'm using this small legal paper, which is five inches across here and seven and a quarter inches in height. And I'm going to fold it in two. This is for the pattern. Okay, so we got this. Now, I'm just going to cut right up through here. Okay, I'm going to cut right over here. And I have a pattern. Well, it's been annealed, quite soft, ready to be formed. Took the fire scale off, and now it's time to start doing some hammering. Now with the mask, I'm going to use this new mallet that's rather pointed. And I'm going to come around the edges. but I do want these edges to curve in. Now with your planishing, it helps that every so often you wire brush it so that you can see what needs to be planished and, you know, what's okay. You know, what you've completed. Now I spent some quality time planishing this. It's, it's pretty smooth. Nice shape. I'm going to make a good abstract mask. And when you're finished, you've got a mask that you can use either in a table sculpture or a wall sculpture.